draw your target from the rifts. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The cryptus can be lured out of hiding. Let's begin. Avatar of Envy. Ooh, yes. This one is back. Oh, this one is melting a little quickly. Yeah, that one melted a bit fast. That was a little sad. Uh, yeah, there, in terms of, you know, we're all very strong individually in Guild Wars 2 now, but when we get more than like five people together, it really starts to, to amp up the compounding doctor, power. These fractals to be born into one reality, then pulled into another to be hunted Ooh. by demons. Another thing that we'll need to handle. When you've got a moment, please report back to the medical ward at the Beacon of Ages. Given your exposure in Nios, I'd like to confirm that you're at optimal health. If the okay. box pokes his head into one too many burrows, who knows what will snap in his face. Oh. All right. Be careful approaching the rift. Ceres is looking for you. He got a taste, and he wants a bite. Oh, Ceres is hungry. If you're so concerned, why would you rescue me? For curiosity. Yeah. Or do I want to kill you myself? This shadow of Nios, I'm calling it out. She's given us a little. <laughs> She's very enigmatic. You are such a this character is very strange. I Woo! Oh my, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Ew. Oh, is this the infirmary in here as well? Oh wait, there seems to be like another. Oh, I probably just speak with the other person in there. Who's over here? Oh, Zoja. I'll speak with Zoja first. Oh, hey. This place is impressive, if not a little terrifying. The wizards can create fractals. Still trying to wrap my head around it. Yeah, it can be a lot. We're still getting used to all of this ourselves. This one is a little prickly, but I can tell you're familiar. She's harder to read. Ooh. Emotional. Angry. <sighs> Angry. Um, did you say something, Commander? Oh, I wouldn't tell her about me if I were you. She's a bit more raw. Mm. Might not react how you'd like. Especially with more Dramoths. I'll leave you to your work. Influence and uh, speaking in someone's head and all that stuff. Thoughts from Warden to Warden. Frode. I could see through that icy shell the moment Leah brought you before the forge to warm your bones. You may have been in shock, but it may have taken a decade to heal from those wounds. But I knew even then that you were a leader, that you could be our leader. My time as warden has been spent arguing with Isgarin, or Isgarin, watching the world writhe every time a dragon wakes. We do good work here, but that work is hard. Remaining focused on the task at hand to protect Tyria from all of the things that we do not know about is hard. Acting sometimes and not others will keep you from sleeping at night. There's nothing easy about this job, but it has been the most fulfilling path I could have chosen for myself. You've always had an aura about you, a fatherly presence that is comforting. They, the ward, feel protected in battle. They listen when you speak and I am tired. I've seen too much, and I can barely lift a goblet anymore. Uh, which is why Maban pushes me to retire and heal, but I know it's my time. Do not make this choice immediately. You've only just reunited with your daughter. So few of us get a chance to share this with loved ones from before. Levente. Hmm. Hmm. 
Miles and miles and miles. Um, the infirmary. Okay. Vital signs, mostly normal. Do you feel anything strange? Oh, I got a simple stool. Your feet? Any nausea? Distant memories surfacing? Uh, nothing like that. Need you to be honest if we want a proper bill of health, Commander. <sighs> Maybe I've been hearing a whisper oh. since I got back from the demon realm. Nios. Not surprising. Here, let's check on your astral alignment. Hmm. Influenced, perhaps. But I can confirm that you aren't possessed. Your will is That's intact. That's great. <laughs> we can work with that. Hearing voices after traveling through the mists isn't entirely uncommon. So mm -hmm. long as it's not telling you to murder anybody, and you're not acting on those impulses, I see no threat. That will make things exciting. Oh, shut up. Shut up. I'll let you know if that changes. Oh, God. And we can return to Skywatch Archipelago now. We had a little quick checkup. Appreciate that. This is down below. Probably down below. Oh, there they are. How did she look? I only got a glimpse mm -hmm. before she moved farther into the cave, but uh, not good. We shouldn't overwhelm her. I'd recommend that Zoja and the commander move ahead without us. What are we doing? What are you going to do? You know, and I will guard the entrance. As soon as Dagda moves, oh, Dagda. nearby will want to join the fray. Wizard magic is delectable to the cryptus. Every well of power they hold is a feast to be devoured. Right. So we better get moving. Commander, with me. Perfect. Yeah. Let's go. What? Nervous? <sighs> Not used to taking orders. A lot has changed. I love that we're following Zoja. Follow Zoja and search the cave for Dagda. Mother of stars. Ooh, very ominous. Very cool. Yeah, I, when I saw this area, like, in the background of those videos, I was like, oh, is this like a Orion area? Anything I need to know about Dagda? She's the wizard of the celestial. Specializes in power drawn from the cosmos. A joke. Hmm. One hell of a punch too. A Jotun. Any that took her down is probably one we should be afraid of. A Jotun wizard? They were among the most magical races in Tyria. Right, but yeah, they're not anymore. But Dagda is a thousand years old. More. She's seen a lot. A thousand years old. At least you've got a lot to learn about the wizards. They keep themselves youthful. Youthful. Those stem cell treatments. This place is beautiful. It is giving Jotun reminiscent of like some Orion stuff and you know, of course, the exalted assets. Do you hear that? Yeah, I do. Alchemy. Oh, not swarming. the cryptus. Oh, not the cryptus. Oh yeah, I guess the cryptus have taken Dagda, so we might have to do something about that. Just maybe. And we have some field notes as well. Come on, Zoja, you got this. You're no stranger to combat. Uh, reader of notes. Find all the readable Zosha. notes while following Zoja. Oh, the letter! Oh. Siri, is that you? Kill, kill me! Siri! Ooh! Those are really interesting visuals. Guardian bullets? <laughs> Siri, what's going on? Feeling a sword and a torch. Could be a guardian. It sound, seemed like a much stronger zealot's defense. Should do anything else? Ooh, the music. Anything else? Anything else? No? Fall? All right. So oh, sorry, Siri. Hmm. 
May the stars cradle you. Aww. She was a friend. Found family. Aww. They'll keep coming until Dagda is stable. Let's move. Oh my gosh, so sad. Hold on, field notes. Sorry, <laughs> we'll come back to that. The fact is I completely realized now. It's just incredible to witness. I'm headed to the observatory later today with Dagda to run a few experiments, but I have an acute sense of dread. My blood refuses to still. I've never been to the observatory myself, so I have no reason to be anxious, but I can't shake these feelings. Although it's challenging to articulate them, maybe I'm ill. I haven't taken a day to myself in weeks. Apparently, the observatory was one of the first manufactured or conjured fractals, so I'm at least curious to see inside. Isgarin and Waiting Sorrow used it to observe the other fractals as they formed, whether created or naturally occurring. See your magic. Dagda is hopeful, or maybe desperate, that we can learn something inside, but that's starting to feel like false hope. Zoja made it sound completely non-functional, but Dagda's become progressively more erratic over the past few days. Pouring over Sorrow's notes, looking for things that aren't there. I know she misses her mentor, but I really need mine. Um, I'm guessing that was probably Ciri's journal. And, you know, following your mentor in. And like, oh, it's so unfortunate. And Zoja just experienced another bout of loss? Another rift. That is where Dagda will be. I can feel her, and, uh... And? You lead. And what? Enter the rift to confront Dagda. Would you like to continue, Mother of Stars? Guessing boss fight? Boss fight, maybe? Mm. She's just ahead. Isn't she a Jotun? The air is particular. Or a Norn. Or was this place created by Jotun? Latched on to the wizard soul. The wizard soul. Ah! <sighs> Zoja, oh, what are you doing? You brought the, uh, you brought the harbinger oh. to kill me. <laughs> I'm not a necromancer. They're here to help. They're a friend. Ah! They're here to end me. As they've ended so many others. I'll see if I can cast a barrier to keep her trapped. Don't want to lose her again. Oh no. Oh, that's a very interesting Jotun. I guess like a female Jotun. Okay, what are her abilities? We had that Zealot's defense thing. Oh, the strange voice seems... She seems curious. She doesn't know what's happening. Ooh, what's happening? Ooh, okay. Her attacks are a little feisty. Oh my. Okay, how do I do that, Zoja? Zoja, hurry up. So pulling into an area of effect, damaging pulsing field. Love that. Love that for me. Oh god. Are these um reflective? I'll try that next time. Hopefully I have enough pages to try that. Ooh, okay, half of the arena will be attacked. Ooh, that's also a really cool effect. Druids are found shaking, wanting more. Ooh, okay, I actually might need to heal. Oh, my health. I'm not the most sustainable in terms of keeping my health pool up. These are really cool effects. Oh, that is a lot of damage. I wonder how this will work in the strike mission. Dagda. I don't want to lose Dagda. I'm kind of interested by what she's experiencing in her backstory. Dagda, don't leave us. Don't leave us, Dagda. She's only at 50%. Oh, God. Ooh, I want to try this. Oh, I wasn't able to. Damn it. The orbs of light. Oh. 
What is this? Purifying light. Channel beam of light to disrupt Dagda's demonic energy. Oh, she's... Oh, so she, her... Her own spirit is kind of peeking through. She's trying to resist. She's not fully lost. This is a beautiful animation. Ooh, let's try that again. Nice. I wonder what that effect would be if... Oh, she's an area effective star. That's such a cool animation. I wonder... That's not my name. Armored up. Don't call me that. You almost called us the Vanda's hive. Vanda? Oh, is this are these Vanda's forces that we're fighting? Vanda's hive. Stay here so I don't die. Oh, gosh. That is hurting. I'm gonna stay ranged for a little bit. Try to heal every little, little pulse. What happens if I don't? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it just. That is so cool. Oh, five percent. Come on, Soja. I can imagine the sound of waves crashing against the shore. Oh, my thoughts are my own again. A proper Jotun. You okay? Oh, it looks now so good. An ache in my neck, but I'm fine, little one. Hm. This is the commander. Mommy, she's ah. giving mommy. Thank you for refraining from killing me. I'm sure you resisting that urge was a challenge. Oh, come on, Dagda. What? I don't understand. I helped you. Maban brought the together. <coughs> We're on the same side. Maban is too trusting. Hmm. Maybe you should check in on Frode and Yuno. Make sure they didn't get ambushed. <gasps> Understood. We're gonna have a little chit chat. A little chit chat while we have to go and be like, yo, what's up, guys? Um. Dagda's fine. She doesn't really like us, but that's okay. Kind of get it. Kind of get it. You know. Y'all good? Where's my bond? Where's my boy? You look like you've seen a ghost. My bond, my boy. <sighs> or ten. How's she faring? Soja's with her now. A little beat up, but managing. If I'm going to be honest, we didn't have the warmest of introductions. <laughs> Unsurprising. Dagda is, um... A mother to us all. And fiercely Aww. protective of her brood. We'll get Dagda somewhere safe to recuperate until we can get back into the tower. We'll meet you at the Beacon of Ages. Catch your breath and don't take it too hard. She'll see you. Thank you. That was beautiful. That was a really solid instance. Rift Hunter Leggings. Armor sets are coming. They're coming together. Mother of stars. The Jotun, the stars. I see it. It all makes sense now. It does. You're breathing. That's good. And you're still here. Am I possessed? No, you are not. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Petha. Petha? And what do you want, Petha? Now you choose silence. Hmm. Petha. So is Petha the shadow of Nios? Petha. Very interesting. Very interesting. Unlocking the wizard's tower. That's the meta. So maybe we have to do a meta event in order to unlock the tower and gain access to it. That'd be very interesting. Very interesting. Also, I think there's a um, point of interest that I did not collect over here. I'm gonna come over here and uh, grab it really quickly. Dogs, are you here? Oh, a gladium. And for chick. Chick. 
To be honest, this isn't the first time Lear has split in two only for one of his halves to run away. It's quite frustrating if Skrit can open. Or, if Skrit can be open. <laughs> Sounds frustrating. I'd love to know more about the ability, though. Oh, of course! Our trick would love to better educate the commander on all things Astral Ward. A few of the wizards have some mystical powers that set them apart from the rest. And Lear's allows him to split into his consciousness into two. Correct! Just as Dagda channels the stars and is Garin, is Garin, is the soft A, is Garin and Waiting Sorrow form the fractals together. Maban, uh, Maban is more of a mystery to Skrit. It may very well be his empathy. I suppose Lear's ability is especially helpful against the Cryptus. Richick agrees. It keeps him from being fully overwhelmed. It also makes for some very colorful debate halls. I see you're on your feet. She's huge. That I am. I think we're ready for some proper introductions. Dagda Commander, Commander Dagda. She helped Mabon heal me when I first got here. <laughs> you should have seen me. <laughs> I was a mess. Mm. Dagda? Commander. Mm. I apologize for my hostility at our first meeting. I understand, You but... did not deserve my ire, but I maintain my caution. We don't know you. I was pulled into that rift. I'm happy to help Zosia, to help you. But this was not my choice. <laughs> Nor was it mine. Okay, we're still feeling grumpy. Let's not At least we're speaking up for ourselves. ...from the end goal here, to stop the Cryptus. And, well, we need all the help we can get. <sighs> this is true. Frode was looking for you, Commander. Why don't you track him down? All right. Speak to Frode. Well, now that we're maybe a little bit more acquainted with our lovely uh, Dagda and Zoja's kind of pulling for us. God appreciate Does Zoja. Hatha. Does what make me angry? Surprised that everyone doesn't immediately bathe in your excellence. Ooh. Oh, girl. They don't know me. Neither do you. But I'm starting to. And I don't think you liked that very much. Does, does the commander have a bit of an ego? Oh. They deep, deep down, they like the attention. Commander? Oh, Urchik is at your service. <laughs> Skrid is a big fan of your work. Big fan. Aww. This is Urchik and Gladium, two of my scouts. I've currently tasked Urchik. them with tracking Lear. Both of them. We know that the facet of emotion is working with Mabon to break down the tower's defenses. But his other half is... Not counted for. Glade has an ominous feeling. Hmm. As do I. But there are still cryptids feeding on the fractals and their inhabitants. If we don't help them, we treat them no better than Doliaks. Commander, frankly, I could use your help in the field. The Rift Hunters and my scouts have their hands full. I'll check in with Rian. See what the hunters need. I see. Speak with Urchik and Gladium. Urchik and Gladium are very honored to work alongside the esteemed pack, Commander. The title might be a little dated, but I appreciate the sentiment. <laughs> a, a little dated. Urchik could write ballads of your glory. Truly. Gladium, too. I already love Gladium. Urchik presents Gladium! She is my oldest companion. Urchik can read her movements. Gladium cannot speak or hear Skrit very well, for that matter. The legions were not kind to her. Mm. But Gladium is as strong and intelligent as the commander. It's good to meet you both. As Urchik and Gladium, Love Gladium. to meet you. Ooh. Careful. We did it. We did it.
steady. Breathe. Breathe. Who was... who was that? The Midnight King. The Midnight King? Oh! Epoch. Brave of you to say that so loudly. He hunts. Though not for you. Yet. Hmm. Yet. Well, I park. You want to chill out a little bit, Betty? I'm just, uh, you know, trying to get used to all of this demonic stuff and trying to figure out the heart of the obscure. It'd be great if you just, you know, stay back a little bit more. Well, bad years trail. Meet Scrit at the Beacon of Ages, and we'll build a plan. Big wins. Big wins. I always have business with the warden. Ooh. Just in time for Urchik's battle plan. Maban and Goodlier are working to unlock the wizard's tower. Maban has requested the commander's assistance. Mm. Once Maban and Goodlier have forged a key, we can access the wizard's tower. Right, Glade. That's where we think Bad Lear is hiding. How he got in, Skrit does not know. You know and I will hold the line here in the interim. But we'll join you when it's time to recapture the tower. How does that sound to you, Commander? I still have a lot to learn about, well, all of this. But I'll join you in that fight. Oh, Urchik is honored. Urchik, you're doing lovely. Already the Astral Ward. I'll let Mabon know that we're moving. Anything come from that distress call, Dagda? Did you hear about Alm? No? What happened? Taken over by one of the beasts. Mm. Stuck a knife into his thigh during supper. Got there before he could cut anyone's throat. Almost did, though. They had him cornered for an hour before we got there. I took him to the Beacon of Ages. He'll stay behind a locked door until we know if he's going to be a problem. Um. Probably for the best. So long as he can't hurt himself. And that's mm. why we Ah. Commander, we could use your expertise on the front line. Lear and I will be waiting for you. Beyond the Veil. Drachnar's Light. My stein is too dry. I, I... I can't feel anything at all. The last glimpse was of Cryptus. A whole horde of them. We'll continue to hope for the best until circumstances point otherwise. Hmm. Heard that you've been a great help in sealing the rifts. I'm starting to understand why you kept this a secret for so long. And there is more to come. We were just discussing the path forward, Dagda. The tower is confused. It doesn't know what's happening. The it's wizard's sentient. tower. Hmm. The magic that flows within has demonstrated some level of awareness. It reacts Interesting. to Interesting. I always imagined it as an extension of his Garin himself. The tower calls to all of us, but it prefers Isgarin's voice in response. In his absence, doesn't know what to do. Which is where we come in. Now, there are a few ways we can calm our feisty lump of bricks. And uh, I assume none of them are easy. <laughs> so what's the plan? Lear and I will push toward the fractal of Drachnar's forge. You can either assist us, or you can help collect essences. Do we get to make a choice? Do we get to choose our path? We're collecting emotion, essentially. We did something like that in Kantha. There was a demon in Chulmu's mind, gang leader. Was that a cryptus? Correct. And your demon was likely a oh. wanderer. Demons who do not affiliate with Epoch's little society. Mmm, different houses. Or not, demons are drawn to emotion, like risen are drawn to blood. Then this place must be a banquet. Morbid, but yes. We'll need to calm things down here before we can approach the tower. 
I trust you'll choose the right direction. Assist Mabon and Lear. Nice. And then do we have to go in? Oh, yes. So this is a very similar event. It's essentially the same event in another area, in another fractal. Ooh, breaks. We did it. Gatherer of Essence. Facet of Good Lear. Right, Good Lear. We've got enough distilled energy thanks to your help. Nice. We'll meet you outside the main gate. Be ready for anything. It's time. It is time. All right, and here we go. I think we're just making our way up to the tower. Oh, this is quite exciting. Y'all, we're gonna... Are we gonna make it inside of the wizard's tower for the very first time right now? I think we might. Hmm. So this is it. The tower that the wizards keep talking about. Ooh. Why, I yes it is. I seen anything like it. It looks perfectly... Normal. Normal? Normal? Well, that's almost a compliment coming from you. It's... I can't quite place my fingers on it. So you do have fingers. Very funny. Oh, <laughs> Dirt's Tower, South Gate. Missing facet. Oh, what a callback. What a legend. Hello, Mabon. It's so much larger up close. Yeah. <laughs> it has taken on many facades over time. The inside, however, has remained the same. So, what's the plan? With those essences in hand, I can shatter the gate's lock. Just takes a good lick of concentrated magic to calm it down. Whatever we encounter inside, I should be able to disarm it in Eskarin's absence. You do whatever you need to, Moban. I'll guard you. <laughs> Without further ado... Behind me, all of you. All right. Wait for Lear to open the wizard's tower. Our crypt is going to just come pouring out. Oh. Clear the courtyard of Cryptus. Oh, so this is. There's oh, there's so many of them. We need to anything. clear out the courtyard immediately. Oh, okay. Avatar of Malice. Ah, we find the mounted ones. Oh gosh. Ooh, is something happened to her? She's quite blue. She have any special attacks? How did they get inside? Oh, what is this? Can you hear me, Lear's... Oh, it's a buff. Is that... Who is that? Oh, it's Lear's other half. Facet of logic. With me, Commander. We need to... Whoa, there. Oh. Don't take a swing at me, <laughs> witted headache. Well, the red. This foliage is very reminiscent of the temple that we were in. Facet of logic. Well, time to fight Lear. <laughs> Lear... Get to your senses, buddy. Power to pull the cryptus corruption from inside it. We got it, we got it. The other one. Oh, I just gotta keep going. Okay. Oh, and it was spewing out corrupted energy, and if you touch it, it's like a bomb. Destroy the demonic parasite before it returns and heals it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, over here, over here, over here. Oh I do not want you to heal this one. Because I actually want to get through this story step. Ooh, it vanished. How many astral planes did you count? Forty-eight. What? Oh. That's two more that we've no time for banter, Lear. The fight is hardly done. If I can channel the tower, we can quell its storm. Thirty percent. I wonder if if he will die. If he'll just get stunned and it'll take longer. I wonder what would happen. 
Or if you'd have to stop and revive him. Did it. And I didn't die. I just need to rest my spirits. Let me take a look at you. Oh, thank the stars. You live. I'm okay, Dagda. I'm fine. So am I. Nobody asked you. I need a leash for you both. I'm sure there were more intuitive ways to handle that situation. Shh. It's ready for us. Finally. Oh. Let's head inside. Oh, the castle. Because it's like a sentient. Yes. Yes. Rift Hunter glove box. That looks valuable. This is coming together. The missing to make sure the southern wings are clear before we unlock the whole of Confluence. Doja, Urchik, and Gladium with me. We'll head east. We'll head to the west. Can I head east Bro, too? You know. <laughs> I want to go with Zoja. Go with the group that needs you the most, Commander. Oh, I'm going with Zoja. This is a Zoja run. Plus Gladium and Urchik. They got a thousand-year-old um, Jotun that almost killed me. And you know's good. Y'all got two Leers. You got Froat. Y'all are good. I'm going with Maban. My boy Maban and my, my longtime pal Zoja. If you'd like to join me and Zoja, let me know. I'll join you, Maban. Stay close. This gives you Rise even more up. choice for like future playthroughs. Chick doesn't like to see the wizard's tower in such a state. Ooh, it is kind of, you know, me corrupting. Either. Don't paralyze yourself with fear. We will expel them. Expelled. We enter. These stairs are quite steep. We're at quite an angle. The calves and the glutes on all the wizards? Solid. Is there one more? Oh, there's a torment. The tormented. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. We cleared out this room. Nice. Oh, there's a report. Kind of want to go and read that. Kind of want to go and read that. Ooh, like some practice range. Confidential report. Scenario. Mounted ar uh, aerial raid of Amnitas. Response op designated glass dragon. Rapid response to a large scale aerial raid by cryptus possessed winged mounts. Employs experimental weather control magic te technology. Primary risk factors. Indiscriminate targeting. Also grounds slash destroys allied aerial forces. Long term effect on Tyrian weather patterns. Unclear. Love that. We press on. Ooh, a journal. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> the first time I stood on the edge of Amnitas, I wanted to faint. Maban and uh, Yuno weren't far away, as if they expected just that to happen. A fortress in the sky hovering above us this entire time. I have a thousand questions, and Maban's trying his best to keep up with each one. They call themselves the Astral Ward, and they are led by a small group of wizards. What is a wizard, exactly? It seemed a little archaic, but it all has something to do with magic left behind by the seers. Especially powerful individuals can ascend through a taxing ritual if they're offered it. That ritual allows them to tap into the magical ecosystem of Tyria, to an extent. Maban is one of them, and there's another named Dag Dagda. I've yet to meet Isgarin, Isgarin, for him myself. He's usually locked away in the library of the World Spire, but this place is a campus of magical development, education, and research, a living archive of Tyria itself. There are Largos, Ogres, Asura, and Silvari working together, living together. Alongside the wizards, they've been protecting us from alchemy who knows what. Yvonne asked if I wanted to join the Astral Ward, and I, I might say yes. But the, what scientist would turn down the opportunity to crack the world open and peer inside? The scientist part of my brain is on fire, and I have no intention of dousing the flame. That must have been Zoja's journal. An entry from Zoja. That sounds very much like Zoja, like a little bit of backstory as to how she kind of got into, the, into this situation. 
on Zoja. Zoja. Ooh, 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 okay. Another letter. Zoja. I still You're don't know how this happened. Did they make it inside before the defenses activated? I don't know. My quarters are sealed to protect the relics inside. It's more for your safety than mine. Mavon, stop. Stop moving. You better hurry, script things. Zoja. You're still adjusting to your new place in this strange new world. But I thought you could use a friend. I know that Maguma stirs too many memories, so I went and retrieved him for you. What was it called, Mr. Glitters, Mr. Sparkles, your friend, Mabon. I love Mabon so much. Keep him safe at all costs. We're gonna meet Mr. Sparkles in a moment. Torn journal page, Air's memorial was a few weeks ago. I didn't go, didn't want to. The invitation is still sitting at the bottom of the bin next to my cot. I looked at it again the other day. Newt's handwriting hasn't improved. Logan tried to stop by the infirmary. He's on his feet again, I guess. I told Tamo that I didn't want visitors. Logan probably just wanted to talk about her. Air. He wrote not long ago. Didn't go to the memorial either, but I didn't write him back. I just don't want to talk to anyone right now. I don't want to see anyone. I want to be left alone. My vision is still fuzzy and I can barely lift myself out of bed anyways. All I want is to sleep and then sleep some more insights into Zoja's recovery and journey. Zoja's loyal golem, Mr. Sparkles, sits dormant and covered in a thick layer of dust. Although it looks to have been repaired since Maguma, it's completely powered down and inactive. So she at least repaired Mr. Sparkles. She hadn't the need or the heart to turn it back on. Probably just sitting there. Ooh, that is a lot of damage. Oh. Oh, he was berserking. Oh, and it pulls. Oh, ooh, this champion avatar of rage is pretty, pretty deadly. I think so. This place is beautiful. I'm, I'm okay, Gladium. Tired from such exciting events. Another journal. Let us return to the main chamber. Hold on. Hopefully, our allies were able to conquer the Western Wind. You know, asked if I needed to ride to wherever I was headed, and I agreed to go with her. I don't usually do spontaneous these days, but I don't have anywhere better uh, anywhere better to be, do I? We stopped in Garenhof first, so she could meet with an old friend. I sat at the pier and watched the wizard's tower while I waited. What a marvel. I wonder what the gimmick is. When Yuno finished lunch, we sat there for a while and talked. She used to be a professor in the colleges, but she left after years and years of frustration with the system. Students set up for failure, refusal to grow or expand. Sound familiar? She's lived along the outskirts of Divinity's Reach for some time, teaching statics to the locals. Anything to get technology in more hands. Humans are terrible at math. I like her. She doesn't remind me of Rada Soom. While there's plenty to miss, it, it just wasn't the same after Maguma. It's not the same after Maguma. Assist Mabon. As is the West. And, oh, mysterious energy Together, behind there. We recite the unlit moon. Ooh. Without Isgarin? Zosha. Me? I, I couldn't. You must. Oh. Come. You won't let the flow overwhelm you. I'm sure whatever terrors that still linger in these halls will come crawling the moment we begin. Come on, Zosha. All of you. We sit underneath an unlit moon. Water pools beneath our feet. We got this. We can do it. Perfect. Oh, it burns. With in strength, we see you. Come on, Zoja, you got this. You got What is you know? An elementalist? I'm guessing an elementalist. Is that a scepter or is that a pistol? It's a scepter. Scepter focus. Like Golden Lake? The Hall of what? Zoja, are you okay? You did so well, little one. I I, I saw 
What was that? It could have been a thousand things. We tapped into Tyria itself. That burn was the world Ooh. looking back. That's a lot to process. Here, let us enter the Hall of Confluence. This was in the trailer. So will this kind of explain what the There's symbols are? <sighs> Move on. I don't know how much longer I can resist them. The whispers are... Maban. My dear friends, don't fret. We have survived the Elder Dragons, rogue gods. This world doesn't comprehend how resilient it is. The Cryptus won't be our end. They are vulnerable, ignorant. I only ask one thing of you. When the hour arrives, do not hesitate. That was a bit cryptic. Even for you. I suppose some Mersot habits lasted beyond my ascension. I can hear Iskaran. He's out there, somewhere. Struggling. I need to go to him. We will meet soon. Be safe, my friend. We need so to he's the succumbing. Translocator. We can't power our portal infrastructure without it. Our true home rests in the clouds above. Once our portals can access the flow again, Tomorrow. we'll take you to the bastions. There are six bastion keys. The Astral Ward was able to hide some of them from the Cryptus, but they're not all accounted for. Mm -hmm. I need eyes everywhere until we've located them all. Check in with the others. The Hall of Confluence is a mess. We should tend to whatever needs doing before we depart. Ask allies if they have any other tasks. The Bastion of Knowledge Pillar. I'm of course gonna talk to my allies. Are you kidding me? We're gonna speak with uh, Urchik and Gladium first. Do you need any help, Urchik? Oh, oh my. <clears throat> if the commander is, is offering... <laughs> The cryptus have that effect, it seems. Why didn't Isgarin help protect us from the dragons? He was watching this whole time. Ah. When was the last time you helped save a local farm from a group of bandits? Probably a couple weeks Would ago, you honestly. If, say, <laughs> the champion of a dragon slept nearby? Would you go kill that instead? Isgarin is a complicated fellow. And that's not to excuse his poor choices. He's far from perfect. When he has a goal, he stays focused. And he's had the same one for a while. Keeping Eparch away? I. Something happened between the two of them back in the era of magic, mm. before the gods came. Were they he's lovers? Been so focused on keeping the <laughs> Were they dating? That he often neglected those inside. We're atoning for that mistake. Now. All right, you know what? I have literally spent 40 minutes trying to find the last misplaced artifact from Urchik. I'm convinced there's just three. Astral Translocator. Let's get Good this. Good work, Commander. I appreciate your efficiency. Mm-hmm. <sighs> With the Astral Translocator back up and running, we're ready to move. I don't know what awaits us among the Bastions, but we must move forward, Maban or no. With a Wayfinder on our side, it'll be a fun fight. Who's oh, yes, it will. <laughs> you. Oh, you I'm the Wayfinder. Loyal enough for now. I'm honored. You barely know me. I know. <laughs> and you've still time to disappoint us. Okay. <laughs> Dagda. Let us finish our preparations. We will retake the bastions and push for the spire. Perfect. Tower of Secrets complete. Construct of Galdra spins and inflicts conditions. And into the wizard's tower. What is this over here? 
<laughs> this is interesting. Is this the wizard's vault? Outer Sanctorium discovered. Some dust mites? Meet your allies in the war room, merchants. There's a mastery point. Meet with Archivist Iker. I kind of want to meet with Archivist Iker. And, like, just see what he's up with and see what's going on there, you know? I'm going to go, I'm going to go speak with Iker first. Ooh, Archivist Iker. I can feel them. Your relics. Hmm? The highest ranking archivist in the Astral Ward. I've been looking for a globetrotter like yourself. I'm happy Runes to... and sigils have always been a capstone of the magic ecosystem, granting power to charlatan and sorcerer alike. Uh -huh. But their powers are quite dormant compared to our relics. I believe they are broken pieces of very old runes. Very, very old. When the dragon cycle ended, not only did the spire hiccup, no, uh, many of our spells and magics reverted to an archaic state. Whoa. These fascinating and magnificent objects included. Interesting. Um, show me the recipes you've gathered. Relic of the Fractal. When you inflict bleeding on an enemy with six or more stacks of bleeding, also inflict burning and torment. Research notes. Ugh. Pinch of Stardust. Ooh, Relic of the Fractal might be, might be interesting. It's a 20 second cooldown, but that's cool. We really gotta climb this tower. Ah, here we are. Over here. I agree with Lear. I thought they'd be Galrath. Taller. <laughs> Hold your knife still. This is the Wayfinder. And oh. Zizel? Oh, right. Still getting used to that. Why is there an Itzel? This is Zizel and Galrath. Zizel. Representatives from the Bastion of the Obscure and the Bastion of the Natural. Think of the Bastions like, uh, oh, the Asuran Colleges. But subtract the fraternizing and studying and replace that with fieldwork. We specialize in and observe the various magical ecosystems that sustain Tyria. <clears throat> My bad. Was spotted in the bastion of knowledge. He was not well mm. and unable to hold out much longer. Wayfinder, we will need your aid when we locate him. What do you think he's doing? Hiding, for all our sakes. While they continue to search, Rian could use you at the bastions. You can go now. I'll make my preparations and head out. Now, what are we gossiping about? Uh, I see. So, Mabon is starting to crumble, maybe. Zizzle, I hear you've been doing a stunning job, Wayfinder. We need a little more excitement up here. Glad to help. A lot of faces and names to internalize. I know. Mine should be an easy one to remember, darling. And that's Zizzle, as in Sizzle, if you needed a hand. Thanks. How did you come across the ward anyways? As we all do, by complete happenstance. I'd always been a con connoisseur of alchemical craft, so much so that I accidentally neglected an attack uh, party approaching my village. Thankfully, no one died. Oh, I was banished by my Kana. Nonetheless, it proved just fine as the ward recruited me shortly thereafter. I'd set up shop near Rion's camp, and my potions are just too effective. They didn't hesitate. Sounds like you're a real boon to them. As are you. This place is a little less stuffy with another bow ideal in the mix. I don't know what that is. Oh, and don't let Yara throw in the mood. He might sound sharp, but he's a puddle of affection when you crack that shell. Welcome, Wayfinder. Anything you needed from me? I'm fine. Just getting to know everyone. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Gara. Soja. Amnitas is something else. I wish we were seeing it in better circumstances. It's an academic's dream. A hub of research and magic without judgment and nonsense bureaucracy. Oh yeah, I'm excited to see. If Radasum lost a quarter of the ego and adopted Lear's ethical practices, the things they do. But now I'm rambling. 
Road can fill you in on how the front lines are looking. Check in with him. Heavy book. An unofficial history of the wizard's court. It's not too heavy. By A. Hawthorne. Catching Dagda in Amnitas is like sighting a rare bird in the wild. She's the only wizard that hasn't taken over a bastion, despite the bastions of the natural and the obscure being without proper leadership. I've also had less than one conversation with her from start to completion, so yes, I'm a bit anxious, especially after Sorrow's dismissal. I dragged her down in the wizard's tower. We were all stranded inside while Isgarin shifted Amnitas towards warmer skies for winter. She was sitting on the window ledge, watching the clouds as we traveled. I assumed she'd heard of my impossible task, because she scooted left just enough to make room for another. Sit. And I sat. Despite not leading a bastion, Dagda's always had the commanding tone of a leader. I would follow her, I think. We sat in silence for a long while, watching the clouds. Dagda is very thoughtful, despite the rumors. Eventually, she spoke. She described to me that day, which I quickly parsed as being the moment Maban and Waiting Sorrow saved her from the Jotun. Her expression flickered from frustration to anger as she described the events, most of which she readily acknowledged Dagda learned from Maban after her ascension. She only remembers faces, some names. She was the daughter of a female chieftain, one of the few female chieftains in Jotun's history, another being born of magic like her. The elders of the great tribe feared Na Nauda's powers. This was well after the age of Jotun magic, after all. So they killed her, and most of Dagda's family. They probably would have killed Dagda too, if she weren't so young. Knowing what I do of the Jotun, being collectors, I likely wanted to keep those genetics intact. Like, uh, they likely viewed her and those powers as a tool. They stifled her magic as best they could. She doesn't remember those parts. Doesn't want to. Her arms twitched as she spoke. Possibly a reflexive response to things endured. Maban found her while her, he and Sorrow were tracing migrations, uh, south. Jorvag had birthed another champion, further displacing life in the north. That, she said, is most of it. She couldn't recount the rest, even if she wanted to. Before I took my leave, she touched my arm. A delicate gesture for such a warrior. She told me to be light when asking if, of the past. The wizards all chose to ascend and leave their past lives behind. That doesn't mean they don't yearn for those threads. To reach out and remember.